Captain Greville, ma'am, His Majesty's new courier. Captain Fitzroy? Uh, could you shoot me? What's that, Montred? I discovered the other day I'm, I'm Bishop of Osnabrück. Well, amazing what one is, really. George! Crown. Chancellor. God, this place is as cold as a greyhound's nostril. Your Chancellor. <laughs> right. The sun is so unwholesome. And fatter. Always fatter. Fatter because he's not doing what what. Do you know England, sir? I think so, sir. Do you know Brighton, Bath, yes. But do you know its mills and manufactories? Do you know its farms? Because I do. Do you know what they call me? What do they call you, sir? Farmer George. Do you know what that is? Impertinence, sir. No, sir. Love. Affection. It is admiration, sir. You ought to marry, sir. Settle down. Yes, go up. Good, plain woman. That's what you want? Yeah. Then the people will love you, sir, as they love me. It is not good, this idleness. That is why you're getting fat, sir. Do not be fat, sir. Fight it, fight it. Now, who's got that blasted speech? Sir, who's got the speech? Yes, sir. Lord Chancellor, ready? Yes. Oh, come on, let's get it over with. The King commands the members of this honorable house to attend His Majesty in the House of Peers. Do you enjoy all this flummery, Mr. Pitt? No, Mr. Fox. Do you enjoy anything, Mr. Pitt? A balance sheet, Mr. Fox. I enjoy a good balance sheet. Whereas we, George III, in this year of our Lord, 1788, do open this Parliament, giving notice that our will and pleasure is that the following bills shall be laid before this House. A bill for the regulation of trade with our possessions in North America. <coughs> our former possessions in North America. A bill for the... You see that the king did not write his own speech, Mr. Pitt. The king will do as he's told, Mr. Fox. Then why not be rid of him? 
If a few ramshackle colonists in America can send him packing, why can't we?